Meg. The gift of a book is a tool to combat the cycle of poverty. WRTV and the Scripps Howard Foundation are proud to support our community through the If You Give a Child a Book campaign, which promotes childhood literacy. WRTV's Lauren Casey stopped by South Elementary School in Martinsville today, where students got a big surprise. And we want to mention that due to the pandemic and safety precautions, we did not host a normal book fair for students inside the building, but we were still able to catch up with a few of them about the donation. Really nice. I really like the fact that I now have more books to read at home. Sophia Murrow is in the third grade, and today is a special day at her school. Thank you for donating the books. It really made me happy. This past year, WRTV employees and our viewers teamed up to raise donations for the Scripps Howard Foundation's If You Give a Child a Book campaign. Our donations and yours combined to more than $15,000. So what does that amount of donations equal in terms of books? Well, it means we're donating 3,150 books to kids at South Elementary School in Martinsville and also Urban Act Academy in Indianapolis. That's more than 567,000 minutes of reading. And today, our efforts and yours are shown through the smiles under these masks here at South Elementary. Recently, I've been reading an American Girl doll book called Meet Molly. Olivia Jewart is only in second grade, but hopes to share her big love of reading with others. I feel really excited to read it to my little sister. We know the need for literacy in books is great. That's why we came out here to Martinsville today, South Elementary School of Communications, to distribute books. Now they have a little more than 230 students, grades pre-K through fourth grade. It's a Title I school. And something they really focus on here is communications. They even have this TV studio set up inside their school. It's a very exciting day. It was great to be able to go ahead and start distributing books today to see the excitement on the students' faces. Melody Meyer is the principal. She says being able to send books home with kids can help foster that love of reading, which is important in all aspects of their lives. Um, and then opening those bags and getting out and showing us which one they think might be their favorite and which one they want to read first, it was great to see that excitement. And for fourth grader Quinn Thatcher, anyone can become a lover of reading. Find a type of like what kind of genre of book like fiction, nonfiction, and yeah, just find one of those you like and then find a book that's in that like category and then just start reading it. Each student at South Elementary is getting four books. These are books that are brand new and they can take them home. We're also donating additional books to their classroom libraries. Reading helps your brain and it just helps you get new words right in your head. Working for you in Martinsville, Lauren Casey, WRTV. And again, we want to thank all of you in our community for coming alongside us in our effort to help improve literacy in central Indiana. We can always use your help to reach more students in need. To donate, you can visit wrtv.com slash give a book.